Hi friends and welcome to the DIY Beauty Lab where I figure out how to do all levels of beauty and anti-aging treatments from home. Today I'm going to be showing you how I microneedle my face, neck, and chest with the Dr. Pen M8. This is one of my favorite and most cost-effective anti-aging hacks and I cannot wait to show you. Hope you stick around. If you love all things beauty and anti-aging, figuring out how to do things at home and saving money, then this is definitely the channel for you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to know every time a new video comes out. Before I jump into everything, I want to give you a quick disclaimer. I am not a doctor, nurse, esthetician, or trained professional. This channel is documenting my own DIY journey and should not be substituted for medical advice. Microneedling is one of my favorite DIY beauty treatments that yields the best results with minimal costs. Whenever someone DMs me and asks me where they should start with their DIY journey, I always tell them to get a microneedling pen. There are so many benefits to microneedling. It reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, helps to reduce the appearance of acne scars, improves sun damage, helps shrink pores, helps to improve the effectiveness of your topical beauty products, reduce the appearance of stretch marks. And I mean, that's just a basic list. It goes on and on. Um, there are several types of microneedling pens. I actually own two. This is the old one. It's the M1, I think. And it actually has a cord that attaches to it. It works great. The only reason I got this one is because I didn't want to be doing videos with like the old, old, old version. So this is the newer one. This is the M8 and it's cordless. This one is awesome because it has all the different settings. It's digital. Um, but these two pens are great. I swear they work exactly the same. It just depends on the level that you put it on and exactly what attachment you use as to uh, the results that you get. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so my kids ended up coming home, so I had to wait till nighttime. So that's why the lighting is completely different. But before I jump into the microneedling, I'm going to go ahead and use this Neocane. It is 10% um, numbing cream. This stuff works amazing. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it on my entire face. I'm going to be doing my chest and my neck and my face. So let's go ahead and start numbing. This is really the best way to keep it from dissolving into your skin. And so while you're working on a certain part of your body, um, the other part can continue to numb. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on all the areas I'm not going to be working on right now. All right, so this is gonna keep this from dissolving into my skin. I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, so it's almost time for me to take this off, but while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I'm gonna put in my cocktail here. So I've got my little cup here. It is sanitized and sterilized. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Hyaluron, which is hyaluronic acid. Go ahead and just put that on in there. Then I'm going to move on to the placenta extract. There we go. I'm not going to use all of this because I might use it in a cocktail for some mesotherapy in the next week or two. And then I'm going to use the Regerin HB. And 
And same thing, I'm actually not going to use a ton of this. Oh, never mind. Used it all. <laughs> that came out really fast. So I actually think I'm going to do a second one of the Hyaluron. The great thing about Hyaluron is it's actually not that expensive. And really all that it is is just really good hyaluronic acid. And I know I'm going to need a lot for my face, neck, and chest. So put that in there. This is the brush that I'm going to be using. Go ahead and mix it up. All right, so now that that cocktail is ready, I'm going to go ahead and get out my little towel here. Now you want to make sure that you get all of the numbing cream off before you start doing the microneedling. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this whole part of my face. And leave the neck one on. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all the numbing. And I am numb, like super numb. This stuff works so good. I actually had some on my hand and I had saran wrap that was on my tongue. So I went to pull it off and I got it on my tongue and my tongue actually got numb like super fast. I was like, ooh, that stuff is powerful. All right, so now that that is fully wiped off, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have my Dr. Pen M8 and where is my tip? There it is. All right, so it is the 16 tip. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on in there and then you twist it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. So you just push this button right here and then as you, you'll notice it says one, and then as you go up, it goes two, three, four, five. And that is how fast it goes. And then you'll notice on here, this is the dial that dictates how deep it goes into your skin. So right now we are at zero, which is neutral. When you put your finger across the top here, you can definitely feel it, but it's not like it's sticking out too far. Now, the deeper that you go, the more micro injuries you're causing in your skin. And essentially what microneedling does is it's tricking your skin and making it feel like it's injured and that it needs to repair itself. So when you cause these micro injuries, they themselves are not actually causing scarring to your skin. It's actually tricking your skin, making it feel like it's injured. It regenerates, it like produces a bunch more collagen and elastin and it uh, regenerates. And so that's why it's able to heal scarring because it goes in there and it causes injury in that area and your skin really starts to reproduce and, um, and it regenerates. And so in certain areas, I'm going to go deeper than others. I am very sensitive in certain areas. So for example, on my forehead, I don't go that deep. In these areas where my I've got a little bit more fat in my skin, I can definitely go a lot deeper. And I can usually tell just by the feel of things. Um, I don't mind a little bit of pain and I also don't mind blood, but um, I can I just kind of make this go up and down based off of where I am at on my face. I'll let you know where I'm at each time, but I usually like to start on my cheek area and I'm gonna go ahead and start out at uh, 0.25, and then we'll see how that feels, and we might move on. So I've mixed up my cocktail here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face. I'll be looking down here, I've got a mirror. And considering the fact that I'm not actually touching my skin, I have this brush. I don't, I'm not gonna wear gloves. Gloves actually really annoy me, and my hands are clean anyways, so. Go ahead and just put a light layer all over where I plan on working right now. And then as I'm doing it in a certain area, I'm gonna go ahead and add more as it starts to get um, deep into my skin. You'll notice it'll dry out really quick and you just wanna make sure that it stays slippery. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it at five. You know me, I love to crank things up and go the highest that I can. See, that doesn't even hurt. So we're gonna go ahead and go, let's go 0.75. Oh, let's go 1.0. I can hang.
and you're just gonna gently let this glide on your skin. You're not pushing really hard, but you are applying a little bit of pressure so that the needles can actually make contact with your skin. And you'll be able to tell as you're doing this if it is effective. And you'll notice that I'm going in circles right now. I don't always go in circles. Um, when I get in certain parts of my face, I'll just go up and down. Really just depends on where I'm at. If I go near a scar, I'll kind of really hit that hard in certain areas. Ooh, that's sensitive right there. Ugh. Yeah, as you start getting up towards your forehead and on your temples, it is a lot more sensitive. When it comes to my eyes, I try to stay on the bone area. I don't go into the really soft area inside of the socket. So I've got a little bit of a scar right here. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra love here. So I'm currently at the line that's right above the 1.0. It's in between the 1.5, so it doesn't have a number on it. But um, this feels like it's really, really getting in there. You'll notice that as you start going higher that you have to go a lot slower. So when you're on the lower levels and the needles aren't out as far, <clears throat> you can definitely um, Go faster but not when it's not when they're sticking out like this you definitely want to go a little bit slower and let them get deep in there now i have a scar right over here this is where i had that um thread accident where i had done a thread and my body really just kind of rejected it and so it got a little infected i ended up having to pull it out you'll see that right there and so i just kind of like to micro needle that and just hoping that my body will get rid of that scar. Now this is something you can also do for stretch marks. This scar actually kind of resembles a stretch mark and it's the way that it looks and um, if you have stretch marks on your stomach on your thighs you can micro needle them and it'll actually really help to reduce the look of them Okay, so I think this side has had enough. I'm going to go ahead and go onto my nose. Now my nose, we have to go way down for my nose because it hurts. Let's go ahead and get some product on there. Uh, 
This tickles so bad. I just can't even get to tell you how bad that tickles. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my forehead. I'm guessing that 0.5 is probably gonna work, but it's similar to my nose because there's bone right below the skin. It definitely hurts. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this, and then I'll let you know if this works. Okay, I think I can actually go up. I'm super numb right now, so I think I can handle it. I'm going to say 0.75 is probably where it's at, so let's do this. Okay, so just wanted to recap, I am on level five and I am at 1.5 here on my cheeks and then I'll go down to probably, I think I was at 0.75 or 0.5 on my nose. I'm just gonna continue what I did on this side over here and then I'll revisit this when I get to my neck. By the way, I'm talking to my husband as I'm doing this. He's in California right now, so if you're wondering why my mouth is moving while I'm doing this, well, that is why. All right, so I figured we might as well do a little bit of story time while I'm doing this. So it's just not a bunch of fast forwarded clips of me microneedling. So if y'all are wondering exactly how this whole thing even started, this DIY Beauty Lab, it started um, during quarantine. 
So I always ha got fillers in my lips and then I always got Botox. I've probably had it done since I was like 35 and I'm almost 43 right now. And so I always got that and that was the only thing that I could justify paying for. I mean, there was probably a lot of other things that I would have done. I would have done threads. I would have done all those other crazy things um, if I was willing to drop, you know, a good solid $1,500 a month just on um, beauty treatments. And so COVID hits and I am suddenly like aging drastically by the day like all of my Botox had worn off. Like this is like three months into quarantine. The person that I used to see for Botox was not working. And I was like, oh, I mean, <laughs> this can't go on for much longer. And so I just was bored. Obviously all of us were bored and we had a lot of extra time to watch Netflix and to be on YouTube. And so I just started, I was really curious. I was like, you know what? I wonder if I wonder if I could get a hold of Botox somehow and then do it myself. Cause I've always been a DIYer. I taught myself how to be a photographer. I taught, I, you know, I literally, I'll teach myself how to fix stuff in my house. Like I'm a YouTube junkie and I learn everything from YouTube. And so I went down this rabbit hole during quarantine. I mean, I just had hours and hours and hours to spend doing this. And I would literally just watch tutorial after tutorial. And I found this, whole world of DIYers that had figured out how to do all of those med spa treatments. And I was like, I found the Holy Grail. I was like obsessed. And so I spent, I would say a good solid $5,000 on every single beauty device and product that I could get my hands on. I mean, I was putting all kinds of crazy orders in, it had shipments come into my house on the daily. And I was like, I was so excited. And so I was so excited that I actually started, um, I just had to tell everybody, I had to tell all my friends. I was like, you're not going to believe it. I figured out how to do my own Botox. You're not going to believe it. I figured out how to do my own filler. Like, and everybody wanted me to teach them how to do it. So everyone was like, oh my gosh, you have to do it on me. You have to teach me. And, um, the problem with that is that, um, I don't have time to do it on other people. I just don't. I've got four kids and, um, by the time I had figured really mastered all this, like the world was going back to normal. And so I really actually didn't have time. And everybody was like, you have to show me, you have to teach me. Can you do it on me? And so then I was like, Oh shoot, I don't even want to tell anybody anymore that I figured this out because they just keep asking me to do it on them. And I, I, I don't want to, like, I just wanted to do it on myself. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Let's see. We're going to go down to, 0.75 for my neck. Let's see how this works. Pause on the story. Let's try this out real quick. Uh, let's go higher. Let's go point. Um, 1.0. Well, that's good. All right. And so I kind of got to the point where I didn't really want to tell anyone about you about it anymore because they were wanting me to do it on them and I was like, I don't have time. And so then I thought, you know what, I'm going to start making videos, like little, little videos, little tutorials that I can just send to my friends and then it'll tell them exactly where to get it. Cause then people were like, Oh my gosh, can you just buy it for me? And then I'll just pay you back. And like, no, I actually don't have money to be buying like $1,500 worth of products. And then everyone has to show, I have to show them anyways. So long story short, I decided I was going to start making videos and the perfectionist in me and the fact that I'm in the wedding industry and the I'm a photographer and all that. And I also have a videography company. I couldn't do it like just with my iPhone. I just couldn't like, I just, everything always has to be like over the top with me. And I was like, uh, and of course I started watching YouTube videos on how to make, how to make videos, how to make YouTube videos. And, um, I kind of went down a rabbit hole on that. And then I realized like, Oh, you can actually like be affiliate an affiliate for companies and you can make videos and you can make money off of it. I was like, oh, that would be awesome because then that could pay for all the crap that I'm buying and it'll help justify this entire world of 
um, DIY treatments that I'm now doing. Because I went from doing just Botox and filler to now I'm doing mesotherapy, I'm doing threads, I'm using all of these beauty devices, I'm doing my own Botox, my own filler, fat dissolvers. So granted I wasn't spending as much as I was before, but now I'm doing like so much more and so I, I wanted to be able to justify buying all these crazy machines and stuff. So I was like, oh this is great. If, I'm, if I can get paid even just a little bit of money for this, like I'm all about this. And so um, that's kind of how DIY Beauty Lab was born. Because I was like, if I'm going to be making videos anyways, I might as well make a little bit of money off of it. And um, it never was a thing where I wanted this to at all be my main job by any means. Um, so this is just all for fun. So if you're wondering why I'm not consistent, like when it comes to videos or posting, <laughs> it's because I have other jobs. <laughs> and this is just my fun hobby. And... Um, I'm doing all these these procedures on myself anyway, so it's like, why not just put a camera in front of my face and teach you guys and then show you how to get the products, right? So that's how it went about. And then the problem recently is that I am now live in Texas. I was living in California. And, um, and it's just, my life has gone back to normal like times 10. So now I'm even busier than I was before. And so I'm trying my best to keep up with all this, but um, the part that sucks and is my big pain point right now is the editing portion of it. So I make a lot of videos and I've got a lot recorded, but to actually sit down and edit them, which takes me about three hours, is hard. And I know I could outsource it, but um, I'm kind of a perfectionist in that way, and I, that means I'd have to find someone that can edit and all that stuff. So I mean, if you if you know how to edit and you would be interested in that, send me a message, email me. Would actually like to have somebody that could do that. Just a reminder, I'm on level five and at 1.0 on my neck. I'm also super numb right now. And so if I was not numb, this would hurt like hell. This is a very, very sensitive area, but since the, uh, the numbing cream has sit, sat here for a while, I'm really, really numb, so that's good.
So let's go ahead and talk about aftercare. It's probably going to take about four to five days for my skin to heal. It's going to get really tight tomorrow as if I've got a sunburn. And then I would say probably day three is when I'm going to start peeling. So my skin is definitely going to start peeling. It's going to get darker and it's going to kind of have like a very leathery wind burnt feel to it. The first night when I do this, I like to just spray this active skin repair. My skin is super raw and tender right now, so I don't like to take like really heavy um, like balms and like lather it on. So what I'll do is I'll take this active skin repair and I like to spray it all over. Plus it feels amazing because it just feels like it's water, but it's got all kinds of good stuff in it. So I like to spray my face. And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay in bed with this mask. This is my red light healing mask. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face and I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. I'm gonna do this night and day for probably the next three days while it's in the healing stage because I need this to heal as quick as possible. I've got a life. I don't have time to look like this for a very long time. Um, so I'm gonna do this tonight. I'm also gonna do it tomorrow morning and tomorrow night and then the next day as well. Usually after the first night or maybe like just 24 hours, that's when I'm gonna start putting on the balms to try to get my skin to regenerate quicker and heal faster. I really love this Advanced Rejuvenating Concept Clinical Post Peel Balm. It pretty much just feels like um, aquifer or like Vaseline, but it's just got all kinds of really good stuff in it. And this is going to um, kind of protect my skin as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, especially at night and in the morning, and that will help my skin heal. Definitely, I will be making sure that I put sunscreen on, especially when we go outside, I'm gonna have hats on and I'm just gonna lather on the sunscreen. I'm probably gonna avoid going outside for the next couple of days because my skin is so tender. But that is in my aftercare, and um, I absolutely love the results of microneedling whenever I get this done, or I, I do this to myself. My skin just looks so youthful probably about a week later. So I think you'll love the results as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, would love it if you would. Go ahead and hit the button below and the notification bell if you want to know every time a new video comes out. Also, if you want to come hang out with me on Instagram, I pretty much document this entire journey on Instagram. You can go ahead and go to my Insta stories the little tabs and I have one for microneedling and I'll have all of this documented. I will show you exactly what I look like, you know, at the days after. So go check that out there. And then also if you go to my website, the DIY Beauty Lab, you can download your own DIY um, treatment calendar. So go ahead and head over there and do that. And thanks so much for hanging out with me and have a great day. See you next time.